Hello, good morning students. Today we will study the insect of medical importance. So our first insect is horse fly that is Tabinus striatus. Regarding classification of horse fly, kingdom animalia, phylum arthropoda, class insecta, order diptera because two wings they are present and family Tabinidae horse flies. They are found worldwide except for the polar region. Both male and female engage in nectar feeding. But in addition to this, the females of most species are anatogenous, meaning they require a blood meal before they are able to reproduce effectively. So, tabinids are known vector for some blood borne bacterial, viral, protozoans, and worm diseases of mammals, such as equine infection, anemia virus, and various species of trypanosoma, which causes disease in animals and humans. But blood loss is common problem in some animals when large flies are abundant. Some animals have, have been known to lose up to 300 ml of blood in a single day to tabinid fly, a loss which can weaken or even kill them. So in this way, the fly, it lays the eggs. The eggs, they will develop into the larvae. Larvae forms the pupae and the adult is formed. So, for the egg laying, for the proper reproduction, the female requires the blood meal in the case of the horse fly. Otherwise, they feed on the nectar of the plants. So, they are controlled by various means that is the traps they are used to capture them, right? A dark shining ball suspended below them that moves the breeze can also attract them and form a key part of a modified Minitoba trap which is used most often for trapping and sampling the tabinity. The cattle can be treated with pour on Parathroids, which may repel the flies and fighting them with insecticide impregnated ear tags or collars has been some success in killing the insects. So, otherwise we can say the control of house fly, it is a difficult task. This is regarding the horse fly. Now the structure of horsefly, two wings, two are modified to halters, three pairs of legs, they are there, eyes they are broad. Now coming to the second insect, it is flea bottomus minutus, that is the sand fly. Regarding classification, phylum arthropoda, class insecta and order diptera. So, both these insects, they are from the order Diptera. Horsefly as well as flea bottomus, they are from order Diptera. Here what happens, only the female is responsible for biting and sucking the blood of mammals, reptiles and birds. The protein in the blood is necessary for the production of egg, making the sand fly an, an autogenous reproducer. They are the primary vectors of leishmaniasis. It causes cutaneous leishmaniasis. Cutaneous leishmaniasis is the presence of skin ulcers as you see in the picture. Then is mucocutaneous. The mucocutaneous form present with ulcers of the skin, mouth, nose. And the visceral form starts with the skin ulcer. Next third is the visceral. It presents with fever, 
low rbc and enlarged spleen, uh, spleen and liver so normally we can say that three types of leishmaniasis is there because of phlebotomous minutus number 1 cutaneous number 2 mucocutaneous number 3 visceral right so phlebotomous it will lay the eggs eggs they will develop into the larva and different molds they are there regarding the larva and the pupa is formed this pupa it leads to the emergence of the adult fly so whole of the life cycle it is present inside the host control measures for control lindane parathoids they are used removal of shrubs and vegetation filling of cracks and crevices in the wall and floor and distance of cattle sheds and poultry from the human habitation is there sand fly developed by complete metamorphosis which means that they go through all the four developmental stages that is egg larva pupa and the adult so this is regarding the sand fly both in both of the two cases horse fly as well as sand fly blood meal is required by the female to complete its efficient reproductive system i hope the concept is clear thank you